All right. Welcome back. What day is it? You know, it's Friday. Friday. The 5th? The 5th of February. Yep. A little late today, 20 of 11. Yeah. Chip, you scared me this morning on your state of the city address. You said six to 700 viewers. Wow. Now I'm nervous. I thought it was six to seven viewers, but six now seven, knowing yeah, we have well, six to 700, this is... Some people watch it over and over again, like, like my mom, I guess. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, thanks to the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they hosted the annual State of the City um, this morning. Uh, Supervisor Adams spoke. Uh, Mayor Potter had a pre-recorded message and answered questions, and then, and then I, I did some, uh, uh, I did some uh, talking about uh, what the executive team had put together. Thanks, executive team. Good notes. Good notes. So thank you, Chamber. And I don't know, Leslie. Maybe we can, I don't know, repost it or put a link to it if anybody's really interested. It's pretty long, though. I mean, it's you know, I mean, it's, it's hour, long. It's, it's informative, hour. though. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, it's really you. good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, council this week, they had a, we had a good mid-year budget review. Um, you know, the, the punchline is uh, our conservative remain our, our conservative. Our posture remains conservative. I, I guess that's right. Can you yeah. have a, a, a conservative posture? I think a you posture can. conservative. And uh, what else? We got some good council direction. Um, there was one interesting thing that the council um, they uh, they were looking uh, they were asking me questions about. Um, just for clarification, it was the council who who uh, determined that in the purple tier, uh, restaurants can stay open until 10 p.m. for last seating and then everyone out at 11. Correct. And of course, uh, the important note there, Paul, is that on Monday the 8th at 4 p.m., the mayor's ad hoc committee on outdoor seating is meeting. It's going to be an open meeting. Uh, the planners are going to publish a little agenda with a link in it and everything. Um, so we can talk about that. You know, is that permanent? Is uh, is that temporary? I, I think it remains to be seen. Now, so, that, but uh, that was put in place in December, correct? Yes, sir. Correct. Yeah. Correct. 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 And we do have, you know, again, we've made we've made some exceptions, uh, our own interpretations of the governor's. Uh, uh, we've made some uh, some non restaurant uses restaurants by uh, adding conditions of approval uh, that allow them to be open at all. Right. Whereas the otherwise couldn't be in business, indoor, outdoor, any door. Yeah. And that's mostly bars. I mean, bars, right? bars aren't allowed to be open in the purple tier, but I, right. I think the city's done a good job making some exceptions, right, right, which right. is greatly appreciated. And we're, we're you know, we are uh, we are pushing for reopening. I mean, uh, our outreach and education uh, uh, all around, whether it's for uh, safety protocols or to uh, get the economy re-stimulated, um, we are pushing at the state and, um, and county level. So and we have been. So our communication kind of up the food chain is consistent with our, our horizontal communication with obviously our staff and with the public, both the residents and the business owners and the commercial property owners, which are an important component as well. Yeah, I think it's important that the community understands that we're not, we are following the orders of the county and the governor but that doesn't mean we're just sitting by and following it. No, hardly. we want we have to do what's right. But behind the scenes, you, the mayor, even myself, whenever we have an opportunity, we are fighting for the businesses. We're fighting for the order to get it relaxed, to move us into a new bracket as soon as we can. In a safe, in a safe, in a manner. safe way, just yeah. to try to you know to to to, to get our economy going and, and reopen as safely as possible. So I think that's an important message for the community to understand. Um, this is not just us imposing strict rules on people. We're doing everything we can to get us reopened safely again. Yeah. And, and the same holds true for special events. So uh, Ashley gave me some notes. I mean, she is working with our, our Holy Week events, uh, Concourse d'Elegance and Concourse on the Avenue, to um, ensure that if we're able to be holding those events, we're ready. So thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Leslie Fenton, uh, jack of all trades. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. What, what else you got to talk about today? It's just challenging, right, with the special events coming up and uh, the pandemic. Yeah. Because a lot of those take, you know, a full year in advance to plan. Yeah. So the unknown, that's, that's the big challenge. I think that's the biggest challenge for our community activities department is we don't know. We just don't know yet. And, and, and isn't that the, the underlying message of the budget is we just don't know. We just don't know uh, when, uh, when we're going to receive more vaccine. We don't know when people are going to come back to the village. 
We don't know when our local economy is going to rebound. Uh, we don't know whether we can have special events um, the rest of this year. Yeah, and on vaccines, I think that's a good point too. I mean, we're, we're preparing to provide vaccines to our community. As you mentioned this morning yep. in, your, uh, in your meeting, we're looking at locations in the town, whether it be the Sunset Center, Vista Lobos, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it could be Vista Lobos, yeah. for a drive-through or walk-up vaccination center. That's not the problem. We have the locations and we have the people who are trained to give the vaccine. The issue is the number of vaccines made available. Yep. And, and having us as a location. So we're really limited from the county aspect of they're, they're getting about 4,000 vaccines a week, which uh, that's not enough. So the push from the county level is to push the state to give us more vaccines. Right. And once we get those vaccines, we can open up a center here, hopefully, mm -hmm. and start administering them. Yeah, you know, and, and as far as I'm concerned, and this is not obviously the rule, but you know, you show up, you get a shot. Let's just get the let's get the vaccines, let's get the doses in people's arms as soon as possible. It's getting kind of ridiculous now. So yeah, correct. I don't know. I, did, did did this vlog go downhill? Did are we depressing? No, I don't think we're depressing. We just don't have any notes, and we didn't prepare. But we're winging it a little bit. But a positive thing too that I'm seeing from you know we want people to know is you're getting out. You're getting out, walking yeah. around, talking to business owners seeing how we can improve and what changes we can make. And I think that's real positive. It's not just the businesses. I, I talked about uh, seniors helping seniors. I, uh, I talked about call a dispatcher on the non-emergency line. I, I, called, I talked about our police on bicycles, uh, uh, reaching out and talking to people. One of, I think the most relevant question um, from the board chair at the chamber was, what are we doing to be concerned about people's mental health? And I think some of our residents who are uh, or vulnerable, we need to continue to remember them. We talked about them a lot at the beginning of the pandemic, and I think we need to remind uh, everyone, call your neighbor, email your mom, uh, take a picture of your fire chief or your police chief and, and share it. So, all right. Yeah, just, just, just stay connected with your community. That's the important thing. Uh, you, speaking of bike patrol, I, I went out twice this week riding the bike. I am certified to ride a bicycle, so uh, keep your eye out. You might see me, and there's opportunities to take photos with your police chief. Oh, that's great. I'll do it later. All right. <laughs> have a good weekend. We will have a lot of visitors here next weekend. Big weekend, three-day weekend, Valentine's Day weekend, so just be prepared and take good care. Take good care. <laughs>